What if I told you that Iran has just revealed a brand new Hunter drone, one that could quietly change the balance of power in the Middle East? This is the Shade 107, a next generation unmanned Hunter designed for precision, stealth, and long range strikes. Let's break down everything. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today we are diving into one of the most important and surprising military developments coming out of Iran, the official unveiling of the Shade on 700 drone. Whenever Iran introduces a new drone in the Shade family, it instantly captures global attention. The Shade series already has a controversial reputation due to its use in various conflict zones. But this time, Iran claims the Shade 107 is not just another drone, it is a leap in precision targeting autonomous hunting ability and long-range intelligence operations. In this section, we will set the stage and explain why this new drone matters, why it captured headlines, and why analysts across the world are keeping a close eye on it. Iran uses these unveilings to show both technological progress and strategic messaging. So, the fact that this drone has been revealed now, during a time of heightened tensions, makes the situation even more interesting. Throughout this video, we will explore the design, capabilities, mission profiles, regional reactions, and the potential global impact of the Shide 107. We will also compare it to previous Iranian drones and Western systems. Stay with us, because this story is far bigger than just a drone reveal. It is about shifting power dynamics and evolving warfare capabilities. The Shide 107 is being described by Iranian officials as a next-generation hunter drone, meaning its primary role is not only surveillance or basic strikes, but advanced target tracking. This suggests the drone may have new onboard sensors capable of locking onto moving targets, adjusting flight paths autonomously, and continuing pursuit even if communication links weaken. One of the most interesting claims is that the Shade 107 uses improved electro-optical systems, stronger AI, based recognition, and a more secure guidance system designed to resist jamming. These upgrades indicate Iran is focusing heavily on modern drone warfare resilience. Analysts note that Iran's drone strategy has evolved rapidly because drones have become one of the most affordable ways to project regional influence. The Shad 07 appears built on this idea of small, efficient, dangerous, and able to operate in contested environments. The drone reportedly has modular payload options, meaning it can carry small precision munitions or switch to reconnaissance roles without redesign. This modular approach mirrors what modern militaries are doing worldwide. If true, it means Iran is competing on a serious technological level, especially in asymmetrical conflict scenarios. The Shade 107, therefore, is not just about raw power. It's about flexibility, survivability, and modern battlefield adaptation. When analyzing any new drone, one of the first things experts examine is range. Iran claims the Shade 107 can operate far beyond its predecessors, potentially reaching hundreds of kilometers without needing direct operator control. This long range ability means Iran could deploy the drone deep into contested territories or across borders, depending on mission requirements. Longer range also increases survivability by allowing operators to stay far from enemy defenses. Another important component is flight endurance. If the Shade 107 can stay airborne for extended periods, it becomes a valuable tool for surveillance and persistent tracking operations. This endurance makes the drone especially useful in mountainous terrain or vast desert areas. In terms of propulsion, Iran often relies on simple yet effective engines that may not match Western standards, but deliver reliable performance at a fraction of the cost. The Shad 107 likely follows the same philosophy. It may use lightweight composite materials to reduce weight and improve maneuverability. Early images suggest a streamlined frame with enhanced stability. Combine that with improved fuel efficiency, and you get a practical, cost-effective combat drone capable of fulfilling multiple mission roles. These attributes collectively show that Iran is emphasizing operational practicality over expensive complexity. The Hunter label suggests the Shade 107 is built to identify and engage targets with much greater precision. Reports indicate the drone may use AI-assisted tracking, meaning it can analyze movement, recognize patterns, and maintain lock even if visual conditions deteriorate. This is crucial for ground target pursuit, convoy monitoring, or tracking radar signatures. Experts believe Iran might be integrating new infrared capabilities to enhance nighttime and low visibility operations. If true, the Shad 107 would be significantly more effective in real combat scenarios than older Shade models. Some analysts say Iran is moving towards semi-autonomous strike platforms, giving drones the ability to make limited decisions without operator commands. While the exact autonomy level remains unclear, any improvement here could greatly increase the drone's effectiveness against mobile or time-sensitive targets. Additionally, Improvements in stabilizing cameras and gimbal systems allow clearer target imagery and more accurate strikes. Precision weapons require equally precise targeting, and this drone appears engineered with that philosophy in mind. The cumulative effect of these upgrades position the Shade 107 as a serious threat to stationary and moving targets alike. 
in an era where drones increasingly dominate modern warfare, Iran clearly aims to strengthen its footprint across the region. Another key focus is communication and control systems. Iran has historically struggled with advanced encrypted communication links. However, reports surrounding the Shide 1 on 7 suggest new digital communication protocols designed to resist electronic warfare. This resilience could significantly improve remote operation reliability. Many militaries attempt to jam drone signals to force crashes or takeovers. If Iran has successfully improved encryption and anti-jamming technology, the Shade 1 or 7 becomes far harder to neutralize. Some analysts also speculate that Iran may be experimenting with frequency hopping, a method in which communication frequencies change rapidly to avoid detection. If implemented correctly, it would make interception extremely difficult. Satellite communication may also be included for longer missions. Though Iran's satellite infrastructure remains limited, still Iran has been working to expand those capabilities for years, and the Shide 107 could be a step in that direction. The drone's onboard processor likely handles complex tasks such as real, time data analysis and rapid image transmission. Improving communication systems doesn't just strengthen offense, it improves defense as well. Stronger links reduce vulnerability and increase mission success rates. Overall, enhanced communication technology indicates a maturing drone program with ambitions beyond local conflicts. Understanding a drone's potential requires examining its payload. Early information suggests the Shah Ho 7 can carry a mix of reconnaissance equipment, guided munitions, and possibly loitering munition modules. This makes it a multi-purpose drone, not locked into a single mission type. Small guided munitions can strike with precision while minimizing collateral damage. This is important for Iran, which often highlights precision in its military disclosures. For surveillance roles, the drone may carry advanced imagery systems capable of sending real-time footage. These capabilities are extremely useful for intelligence gathering, border monitoring, and battlefield support. Another potential payload type is electronic warfare modules. If deployed, these could disrupt radar systems or communications of nearby enemy forces. While unconfirmed, Iran has publicly stated interest in EW drone technology. The flexibility to swap payloads means Iran can deploy the Shade 107 for reconnaissance missions one day and precision attacks the next. This modularity mirrors strategies used by many advanced militaries. Being able to adapt payloads makes the drone more cost-effective and versatile. In summary, the Shide 1 on 7's payload versatility significantly enhances its strategic usefulness and boosts Iran's drone warfare credibility. To understand the importance of the Shade 107, we need to compare it to previous Iranian drones. The most famous is the Shad 36 used widely in multiple conflicts. The Shad 36 is a kamikaze drone with long range but limited precision and no return capability. The Shad 129, on the other hand, is more similar to the American MQ-1 Predator designed for long endurance surveillance and strike operations. The Shad 107 fits somewhere between these models but introduces unique qualities. Unlike the 136, it is not meant to crash into targets. Unlike the 129, it is much smaller and cheaper. It aims to provide precision targeting with higher mobility and more flexible mission profiles. This niche makes it especially useful in regional conflicts where cost efficiency and stealth matter more than high budget, large scale systems. Western drones often rely on top tier satellite networks and advanced sensors that Iran cannot fully replicate. However, Iran compensates by building affordable, resilient drones in large numbers. The Shade 107 continues this trend, offering decent capabilities at lower costs. This strategy has proven effective in modern warfare, where drone swarms and cheap precision attacks challenge expensive air defense systems. In this context, the Shade 107 could become one of Iran's most practical drones. The global reaction to Iran's drone reveal has been mixed. Some analysts believe the Shade 107 represents another step in Iran's growing drone influence, especially as demand for cost-effective drones rises worldwide. Countries engaged in low-budget conflicts or facing Western sanctions may show significant interest. Others worry that the drone could further destabilize regions already experiencing tension. Middle Eastern militaries closely monitor Iran's drone advancements as these systems directly impact strategic calculations. Israel, Saudi Arabia, and the Gulf states all consider Iranian drones a major threat due to prior incidents involving drone strikes. The unveiling of a new hunter drone naturally increases concern. Western nations also view Iran's drone expansion cautiously. The United States and European countries have repeatedly warned about Iran exporting drone technology to non-state actors. If the Shade 107 becomes widely distributed, it could complicate conflict zones further. However, Iran sees drones as an affordable way to counter technologically superior enemies. The Shade 107 strengthens Iran's narrative of military self-reliance. Whether welcomed or criticized, the global reaction proves one thing Iran's drones have become impossible to ignore, and the Shade 107 ensures this trend continues. This drone may also influence regional power dynamics. For years, Iran has used drones as a tool for both deterrence and messaging. Every new model signals capability advancement. 
The Shide 107's arrival could shift calculations for rivals. If the drone proves effective, Iran could deploy it across Syria, Iraq, Yemen, or the Persian Gulf, areas where drones routinely affect strategic outcomes. Precise hunter drones can track convoys, monitor bases, and perform targeted strikes without risking pilots. This changes how militaries plan defenses. The more capable Iran's drones become, the more its adversaries must invest in countermeasures. Another impact is local militia empowerment. Groups aligned with Iran may eventually receive versions of this drone, giving them improved targeting capabilities. This would immediately affect battlefield strategies. Meanwhile, Iran can use the drone as a bargaining chip in geopolitical negotiations. Military technology often becomes a form of leverage, and the Shade 107 fits that pattern. Its reveal showcases not only technological ambition, but strategic messaging. Iran wants regional powers to see that it is advancing, adapting and expanding its military reach. Whether this leads to more tension or more deterrence remains to be seen, but the drone undeniably adds a new layer of complexity. In conclusion, the Shade 107 represents a significant step in Iran's evolving drone strategy. With its improved tracking capabilities, longer operational range, advanced optics, stronger communication systems, and modular payload design, it shows Iran's growing ability to produce practical, effective combat drones. While not equivalent to top Western UAVs, it doesn't need to be. Iran's drone philosophy focuses on cost efficiency, large-scale production, and adaptability. These drones are not built to compete with expensive systems. They are built to overwhelm, disrupt, and survive. The global reaction underscores just how impactful Iranian drone advancements have become. Even if some claims are exaggerated, the fact remains that the Shahid 107 strengthens Iran's military messaging and increases its operational options in multiple regions. For analysts, the drone raises important questions about future conflicts drone swarms, and counter-drone technologies. For regional militaries, it adds another threat to monitor. For Iran, it's a showcase of progress. As more information becomes available, the true extent of the Shade 107's capabilities will become clearer. For now, what we know suggests this drone could be one of the most strategically important additions to Iran's drone arsenal. Thank you for watching this deep dive into the Shade 107. Make sure to check out our other breakdowns for more insights. If you found this analysis helpful, don't forget to like, Subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update from Warpulse Media.